Hey there, this is Dr. Falcon, and today I want to talk to you about queue management or playlist management in the Spotify desktop client for the Windows operating system. For those of you that don't know, Spotify is an on-demand um, music streaming service. It's been available in Europe for quite some time, quite a few years, and it's just now come to the United States. Because it's new to us over here in the U.S., uh, a lot of my friends and I have had problems using the built-in queue management um, with the client. And I want to talk a little bit about some of those usability issues today, and then also discuss what we've done to mitigate some of those problems. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how um, Spotify natively handles queuing music. So I'm going to add a couple tracks. Uh, I like Smiling Faces by KRS-One. I'm going to add that to my queue. And then I want to add Skrillex's Weekends. I'm going to add that to my queue. And then, this is where things get weird. I like Pomplamoose, right? So I want to listen to Jungle Animal. And I want to play that right away. So I'm going to click play. And some of my friends think that um, clicking play should immediately play this track and put it at the top of your list. Some of my other friends think that this should put it at the bottom of your queue and start playing the top track. Um, Spotify does the former, so I'm going to click play and pause the track since I don't have rights to broadcast it. We're going to click on play queue, and as you see, Jungle Animals at the top here, which is fine. What's weird, the first weird thing about Spotify's queue management is that it's added five tracks that I didn't explicitly add. Um, four by Plompa Moose, and one is by um, the singer the lady singer and somebody else. So if we go back to our search results, what happened is when you click play in Spotify, it puts that track immediately at the top of your queue, starts playing, and then it adds these other tracks to the bottom of your queue, which is really weird um, because you didn't explicitly say to play them. Um, the other really frustrating thing about that is that these auto-added tracks cannot be deleted. So you see these yellow tracks here. These are tracks that I've explicitly added to my queue, and I can remove them. So if I want to get rid of the Skrillex track, I can by clicking Delete. However, if there's this track that I didn't explicitly add, that Spotify added for me, I can't get rid of it, which is really weird. Um, the other drawback to Spotify's built-in queue management is that if I close the application and restart it, it flushes this queue and deletes everything that's in it, uh, which can be kind of a drag. So one of the things that we've done to mitigate this is I've created a playlist, temporary playlist, and I've called it My Q. And as, as you can see right now, it's totally empty. It's um, conceptually different from these other playlists I have below, such as one for trance music, one for KRS-One, one for rocking it the F out. These are uh, playlists that I intend to keep indefinitely. I might add or remove tracks from them over time, but um, they're meant to stay. And I also sync up some of them with my mobile device because I'm a Spotify Premium uh, member. Now, my queue is supposed to be temporary. So going back to our example, I'm going to add KRS-One, Smiling Faces. Watch this. Instead of clicking queue, I'm going to go to Add to My Queue. I'm going to add Skrillex, Weekends, add that track to my queue. Lastly, Pumple Moose action. Now watch this. This time I'm just going to explicitly click on Jungle Animal, add it to my queue. So if I click that, all the tracks are in the order uh, in which I added them to the queue. So Jungle Animal does not go to the top. They all go one, two, three. Also notice that because I explicitly added this to my playlist, I didn't get the other tracks beneath Jungle Animal like you would if you click play uh, within Spotify. Now all of these tracks can be deleted, they can be moved around, and kind of a happy byproduct is that if I close Spotify and reopen it, it will have saved the status of my queue. So these um, tracks will still be in their correct order and will still be in the queue. Um, the other thing I've done to visually differentiate this temporary queue from my permanent queue down here is I've created a dummy playlist with hashes for its name. It's just all dashes. And um, it's completely empty. I never add anything to it, but it's just a marker. And what's cool about the Spotify client is that you can move these around. So I can move this, you know, this playlist up and down and serve as a visual indicator. And the way that you do that is you click New Playlist down here at the bottom. And I'm going to add um, one of the pluses, hit Enter, and I can drag it up. Just like that. Delete that. And so this way, um, I can just quickly look over here to the left. I look for this um, demarcation playlist. I know that this is my queue, and this is where I manage my playlist. 
So give this a try. It's um, it's a little bit extra work. You can't immediately right click on a track and play it from the search results because that will uh, put it directly in your play queue. But overall, I find this is a much more intuitive and more importantly, a more consistent way to manage your music through Spotify. Again, this is Dr. Falcon. If you like this article or this video, check out my other articles on my blog, which is Gibberish is My Native Language. I also did a write-up comparing Spotify to Pandora and other suggestion-based services on the Internet. Give that a read, and uh, thanks for watching.